So I'm back and this is the end result. It's not bright bright red but it's a burgundy and this is actually the color that I have about two years ago. So I'm really surprised that I actually got it again. And right now I just I have a lot of conditioner in it so it's it's heavy and it's made it look a little darker but it's it actually came out really really good and I got the edges all around here this usually comes out I have the black and stuff but it took really well and only part that I didn't get was back here it's still black but it's okay it's okay no worries so I have the conditioner that because you're sure I'm using Ugh. the conditioner I'm using is actually the Feria that it came with and also had shampoo too but I didn't use that one but it's good the products are good and um this is hydrating conditioner and I also used two different kinds of VO5. I love this stuff. It's it's good. And this one here, because one is moisturizing, which is this one here, and the straightener or straightening. And it smells really good because this one is um what is this one? Mango, mango and grapes. Oh no, my bad. Plumagram and grapes. See, grape seed. This is grape seed extract. They use in that one. And this one is strawberries and cream. So it smells good. And they work really well. And I got these at Walmart for seventy eight cents. Or I usually get them at the ninety nine cent store. They're like a buck each or whatever. But the VO five products are to me. Cause it works for me it's good because it doesn't dry out my hair and, and it's very important to uh, condition your hair after washing it because you get a lot of, a lot of shampoos dries out your hair and it makes it when after when you style it if you don't condition it it'll dry out your hair and make it brittle and that's the problem that I have when I when I do it when I use shampoos that dry out my hair and I style it and it dries out my hair so I have to um, condition right after shampooing otherwise I'm just screwed so and it also comes with this it's supposed to make your hair smell good so does it um, smells like the, the the dye or whatever and it also I guess gives it a little um, sheen or shimmer or whatever so that's good and also make sure that if you try this and whatever um, you don't exactly have to try the steps that I use, but to make sure that it's not really, really um, watery, leave some kind of coarse uh, texture to it so that way it's not. Oh my god, yeah, it was a mess everywhere, it was running down. As you can see, I have it all on my shirt here, and it was running everywhere, it was running all in my ears, all down my back. And it was, I had to hurry up and wash it out because I really wanted to try to keep it in a little longer but I couldn't because it was just running everywhere and I didn't want it all over my sink which I had and I tried to scrub it but using a little um, Ajax little Ajax or Awesome I don't know if you guys know what that is a little Awesome spray that on there and let it sit for like a minute or two and um scrub it and it comes right off awesome is great it's great for all kind of stains basically you just have to spray it and let it sit for a minute so it can soak into the stain or whatever so yeah or use the comment put out a little of that on it take a like the back of a brill pad from your sponge and scrub a little bit and then it comes out because this stuff really stains and it even tells you on the box here on the lid here that it stains your clothes and your towels and stuff like that. This is after application wash hair thoroughly twice with shampoo provided otherwise staining may occur 
on towels or clothing. It is recommended to use dark towels, which I usually do, but this one is like a really old one, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, it's not a decorated towel, so I don't care if it stains it or not. So yeah, so like I was saying, and I just now noticed that, you know, be careful uh, when you're using the red because it really does, it stains something awful, it stains your skin. In fact, I got my hands, my hands are nails. It looks like it's polished, but it's not. It's actually the dye. And my hands are a little bit red from the dye. So, um, be careful. So, I'm going to let the conditioner sit for a little while. I usually let it sit overnight because that works. That I get that deep condition when I let it sit overnight. And I just tie my hair up and go to bed like that. And then I'll wash it the next day or I'll pretty much pull it back and you know just go and then wash it out later and style it but um i like to leave my my conditioner in overnight that works for me i don't know about anybody else but that's what works for me so yeah i just wanted to let you guys see how it turned out and i don't i can't turn my computer around because the i have a window right here and you can see the light is coming in and so yep so this is how it looks and it got everything now as you can see my black is still it's red but it's a very very dark red and but it did it did get it too so the experiment for me turned out well so now I have my old color back and so now I'll just have to style it and let you guys see how it looks without the weighed down conditioner in it and stuff all right thanks for watching bye